Hello everyone, my name is Loco and welcome back to Locopia. Today, we're gonna continue building our beautiful city. Um, this new neighborhood is doing quite alright right now. As you can see, there is finally some action going on right there. Uh, we do have some room to expand over here, but I'm thinking about actually piling up. Well, not, not garbage, that was actually not what I was thinking about. Although apparently garbage is piling up, but I was thinking about um, adding on some trains right now, and this is scary. Because I've never actually done any kind of proper train work in this game before. And I have no way, like, no idea how I can actually start properly incorporating it. So I'm thinking of just maybe starting out over here. And just, you know, trying to figure out how this whole thing works. Because I don't even know. I have no idea. So apparently citizens are getting sick because of the water once again. And it turns out these things don't really actually clean water very much at all. I think it may be better if you, like, split them out a little bit. Or at the very least, like, don't have them stacked up this closely together. We can just, we can just move them around. That's no big deal. Um, where should we put them? Maybe, maybe have some distance between them. That may be our best bet. There we go. And now I just need to connect them all together. And put a massive amount of distance between all of them. So, if this doesn't work, we're gonna have to look into other solutions for the whole water problem that I got going on. Uh, but I don't really like the idea of people getting sick because of the way I got these things positioned. So, we'll give this a try. See if that fixes anything. Oh, obviously they don't have electricity over there, which is a bit of a problem. Do not worry, Loco the electricity man is over here. We got this. Hopefully. Oh god, can I not get it over there? Maybe. Oh yeah, it does work. Now one thing that I do want to make sure before we start putting down train tracks, is that I am earning some money. As you can see, we are still losing too much and it's just... It's too big of a deal, so I'm thinking about rebuilding a bunch of stuff over here as well. Um, get rid of all of these circles, at least for the most part. And then uh, we will see if we can put down some trains. But we really need to make sure that we get the weekly income in the positive first. So here goes nothing. Now I'm hoping this is gonna turn out the correct way, at least the way I, I had it planned. Um, because as of right now, we are once again losing way too much money. Now obviously this wouldn't be a local construction without a whole bunch of trees and a cemetery that is completely in the way. We are emptying this one currently, but yeah. <laughs> very, very typical once again. Very, very typical here. Uh, <laughs> random ass cemetery in the middle of where I'm building. Um, Alright, well, I guess, I guess this is the temporary solution right now. <laughs> Alright, it's that time again. It is that time again to add in as many trees as we can possibly put in a little tiny square like that. Yeah, and I'm thinking of just filling most of this with residential zones. I mean, I really don't see why not. Uh, we can actually make like another extra wave over here if we would like to. Well, we can do that. We can do that. That sounds, that sounds about right, or that looks about right. Just making them like one out. Does that not connect? Oh, we can find a solution. Alright, and I'm gonna be filling pretty much everything here with residential zones. I really do hope that people will move in. Because um, I am really starting to go low on cash here. And while we are still fine for the moment, I'm a little bit worried that at some point I will be completely broke. And ruin this city. Maybe I just predicted my future. Which would not be ideal. You move in there, play park. The manor residence. Or well, you guys may stay if you really want to. Um, should we fill in this area as well? No, we shouldn't. Okay, here we go. People can move in. God, we are losing so much money. It's going down so fast as well. It's really quite scary. I don't really know if I'm doing something in particular wrong, but... So I decided to turn off the transport tower and the airport temporarily until we are in the green as far as money goes. Alright, and with a couple of minor changes, we are finally in the green once again. Um, at least we are not losing money anymore. We went down from like 2 million all the way to 200k while making a making a loss. So I'd, I'd rather I'd rather keep things the way they are right now. I'm not gonna touch anything else for a little while. Um, and I'm thinking we can now go ahead and add trains potentially. All right, let's go back to the original plan. Actually, now I think about it, let's be smart here. Let's first put trains where they actually are needed, and that would be obviously in this area because people. You know, actually have the big, big amount of um, so shops and like the the high rise and whatnot, um, and then also we wanted connected over there. Uh, we're gonna have to figure out a way to do that, no? All right. So first off, a train stop. Sixty k. What? 
Oh, there's a cargo train terminal. Oh, I see. There's different ones. Oh, there's a train station and a cargo train station. Those are both extremely expensive. All right, new plan, new plan. I'll do that. I'll deal with that once that um, actually has all stabilized and once we're like back at a million or something like that and where we can actually activate the airport once more as well because too much at once is just gonna... It's just gonna be our doom and I really want to be continuing the city because it's awesome. Um, instead, I'm gonna be focusing on fixing this area a little bit more. To be fair, this place is called Locopian Square and it's as round as we possibly can get. <laughs> that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Should we... Should we do it? Oh god. Oh god. Alright, alright, road number one. You're gonna be right around right here. And we're gonna... We're gonna have you somewhere over here. All the way over there. Oh god, another random cemetery right here, out here in the open, actually. We have a, a brother of them right there. I should really put down more crematoriums, to be honest. Yeah, this one is emptying as well, but people can't get there, so it's not actually emptying. Um, yeah, we need to actually put down a road right here, so it can actually start emptying. There we go, people can now finally leave. To be fair, we don't even really need a road over here. The only reason why we need that is to connect to this area. Instead, we could just connect those two all together. What about that? So it is still a bit of a mess over there, but um, that's simply because of that cemetery. For some reason though, wow, we're losing a lot of money again. What did I do? I didn't actually remove anything super important over here. Uh, I just replaced a couple of the buildings. Oh, disconnected power grids. Ooh, ooh God. Is it? Is it actually disconnected or did I... I must have messed up this thing. No, I haven't actually. Oh, that was weird. It was just one little line over here. I didn't change anything over here. I guess a little bit of zoning or something must have accidentally removed all of that. That was kind of scary though because we lost a lot of money from that. Maybe we should just like make sure to disconnect it at any point. Like... We can make it look pretty at some later time, but at least like have something so it definitely does not do that again. Alright, there we go. That's making money right now. Great. Okay, I added on some more residential zones over here as well. Uh, do obviously want to make sure that it keeps looking good, so I'm gonna add a couple of these patches everywhere. You know, just, just not too many, but just like a couple of places where I fill it with trees just so it will stay like, you know, good looking. So actually I want to make sure that this is not zoned in. Little bits of green at the very least at places where um, there's usually only buildings. Like, only buildings? It looks alright, but obviously we want it to look a little bit more unique than that. I don't think it actually adds anything to, you know, the actual town other than, you know, aesthetics, but... Aesthetics is what it's all about. And I'll just make sure I do the same thing over to, you know, the existing zones as well. So I'll just remove a couple of the things that we got, make a couple of people unhappy, but do it for the greater good. Be gone, building. There we go. We want you to be trees now. <laughs> I'm removing big ass flats in favor of trees. That sounds about right. Okay, you guys can move over slightly and then we'll make some more over here. Not bad, not bad. Just make sure it's also not zoned in. This looks like a mighty fine place to remove some flats and add some trees as well. Oh, actually, this one is one off. I want to have three lines of trees in here. Just like that. Okay, just mainly fixing the roads as well over here. Uh, removing things, but then re-adding better versions of what was already there. Basically, just instead of like zoning in a massive terrain at once, we're just taking small steps and improving what we already have. And I actually, I'm, I'm really starting to like the look of this. Although there's a random path right here. That is really not connected to anything. Hold on. Boom! There we go. Get you connected. And obviously we're gonna need to add some of these paths over here as well. Because else it would look bare. And we don't want that. Somewhere over there. Across the street. And then down again. Does that work? 
Oh, close enough. All right, and then it's time once again to zone in a whole bunch of the stuff that we got. There we go. Obviously, I want to make sure that I don't zone over the trees that I made, because then uh, people actually start building houses on top of these beautiful places. These places. We don't want that. This, like, dude, this would be bad. We don't want that. I'm tempted to just disconnect this road right here. I mean, why not? What's this really achieving? Except, like, making all kinds of problems to the traffic. That, that should really not even be a necessary road. This one isn't even connected to anything. Are you anything imp important? No, not really. Yeah, that's easier right there. Obviously, this turn looks a little bit funny right now, but I mean... Just simply taking that away already makes it a lot easier to manage. There we go. We can now delete the old one right there. And we may have to, like, connect this one somewhere over there, but we can also just leave it like this. And just uh, be happy with the way it is. Although I'm not sure what this thing is doing out there, though. What are you, a firehouse? Uh, firehouse, you're now being located over here. Congratulations. A lot of people don't really care. <laughs> I think I should win an award for worst city planner because I've literally made entire areas, then realized they weren't actually working very well, and now I'm remaking pretty much all of exactly what I already made uh, weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little while and um, for some reason I, I am, you know, like forced to basically improve what we already had uh, for the last couple of episodes. And while we did make some new stuff as well, it's just funny how that works. I think I should win an award for Worst City Planner. Oh, this one is now empty as well. Great. Okay, you can now be deleted, which means I can actually move my power plants over. I've been having a little bit of a... I've been thinking about it a little bit. I'm thinking about maybe positioning them here. And on either side of the road, and that means I can do something with this area as well. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. Remove you guys. Um, and then put this road in here. Right from the middle, obviously. Which is right there. And I don't even know if you want it connected over. Well, okay, we'll see. We'll see how that works. May have to move, um, move a couple things around. I hope this will fit. Does this fit? Well, one does. The other one obviously doesn't. Oh, yeah, does it? It does. Great, great, great. All right, now we just need to mirror the second one as well. Boom! Not bad, not bad. And that means we can also move over this weird-ass road and uh, make it actually useful. There we go. That will do right there. Now it's just a matter of putting down some more trees, and I think we can call this pretty much finished, uh, this area at the very least. Making sure that there's three lines of... Um, yeah, three lines right there. And then obviously three lines on the other side as well. And then we can just zone this entire thing in. Alright, so I really wasn't sure what to make of this zone, but I think we are on the right track right here. I added on a lot more trees around this area, as you can see as well. And I made these patches, or these patches, in between uh, the different parts of the town as well. May have to add a couple more. Obviously this wing, I guess we could say, um, still needs rework as well. Um, but this, this is definitely in the right direction, and I think... Um, it's it's all for the greater good. So I have a quick sneak peek right there. Yeah, currently there's 42,000 people living in the city. I don't know exactly with how many we started off today, but I know it's less than that. Um, and finally, we are also making a pretty reasonable amount of cash, uh, which is uh, <laughs> very important if you plan on building a pretty big town. I mean, there's a lot of things left to do, though. I'm thinking, and obviously I'm thinking here, I may, I may change my mind when I'm actually there, but I'm thinking in the next episode, uh, we fix this wing. And we go ahead and change up the whole mining operation right here. And then eventually, once I actually have a big enough um, a big enough amount of money, I guess you can say, I will start transitioning towards adding in the trains uh, in this zone as well. Because eventually I do want them, although I really have no good idea on how I get them to work. But I'm sure we can figure something out together. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button right below the video. And also, if you want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you will be the very first one to get a notification when I upload another video. I want to thank you guys all for watching. Have an amazing day. Do not forget to smile. And I'll see you in the next one.